I have to know, like, how many of your dance moves at the beginning in the open were Im improv? Or was, was it all choreography? Did you, like, stick with the, the script uh, there? The big dance number that no one will, will skip, hopefully, is heavily choreographed. The uh, <laughs> in interpretive dance to the choir boys is completely something that lives inside of my soul. And, uh, man, that was the... That was a, an exercise in bravery to let that out. I have to know for both of you, John first, which of your dance moves from the open was your favorite? Was it like, I think it was this one for me that was like, started it, really got into that one. Uh, that's, it, they all took me so damn long to learn. Uh, I'm just glad I got through the thing in one piece and I'm glad it looks halfway good. Uh, Jen slayed the dance routine and I'm just glad that uh, I didn't sink the ship. <laughs> Jen, what about you, favorite dance move? All of them. Oh, I had so much fun. <laughs> I had so much fun with that. I, I like my my entrance, probably. My entrance to uh, the dance sequence. And I come out and it's really, it's a really hardcore, like, that's, 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 that's <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. I'm waiting for you guys to jump on TikTok at this point. I mean, I think it would be really perfect. Hmm. You may have to wait longer for that one for me. Jennifer, your character is pretty cool too. Harcourt is a no-nonsense boss. She's matched against peacemakers. Kind of oblivious, awkward, but really, really funny charm. Was it hard to keep a straight face sometimes in, in some of you guys' hilarious scenes? Of course. Oh my gosh. It was so hard. Um, Yes, and and the thing about Harcourt is that she she is so incredibly no nonsense. It doesn't make sense for her to really ever be l laughing at much of anything unless she's laughing ironically at something or making fun of someone. Uh, so, mm -hmm. for me to um, have to keep a straight face against all of the uh, improv that John Cena was doing throughout the entire shoot, it was a challenge to match all other challenges. So a lot of it was improv then, John, you were like sort of going off script and just adding things here and there. What you see in Peacemaker a lot is on the page. I think James, um, uh, knowing that this was an environment um, that certainly was, was COVID safe, so we didn't have the time off screen to connect uh, as castmates and bounce around creative ideas. And uh, James did this also on the Suicide Squad allowed a lot of time for improv takes and not necessarily to get out jokes that I thought were funny, but maybe to create a certain mood. Maybe he would want something to be uncomfortable. So if I was leaning into some uncomfortable humor, he'd let me go. Or maybe he would want something to be a little more, more loose and, and fast. So when everybody got to banter back and forth, that's when we would try another take. So um, we got to do a lot of improv. Uh, you'll not see a lot of it. There is a post credit scene in every episode, and I hope everybody watches it and, and is entertained by it. But uh, a lot of it was, was more than likely, I'm guessing, and I'm just thinking for James here, was probably to develop atmosphere rather than anything else. John, I know a lot of people have asked you this already about when we're gonna see you and Dwayne Johnson in a movie together. I gotta know, in a fight between Peacemaker and Black Adam, who comes out on top? Peacemaker is a guy uh, with, with a uniform and, and helmets. Um, Black Adam is a as bona fide powers. I think that's a very that's a very short confrontation and Black Adam's superior, but that's a tale yet to be told. So who knows? One day we may actually get to see that. And Jennifer, you're actually in Black Adam, right? So you sort of you've seen both sides of it. What do you think? Uh, I uh, am I in Black Adam? I, Are you? I, I I don't know anything about that. OK, OK. Good. Well, what do you think then? Uh, I would love to see that mashup. I mean, getting to see, you know, probably just the exuberance of all of the fans that would love to see uh, John Cena and The Rock as their respective characters in the DC universe coming together. Whether it was coming together uh, to to fight each other or coming together to join forces, all of it. Was oh, there. right on! Maybe there's a there's a, a universe where we exist, where we coexist. Who yeah, writes this stuff? Get somebody, get somebody writing this stuff. Stat. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.